Hello folks, it's me, William Hayward Painter, with a new and exciting video for you today. Let's talk about Mark Romanek. Mark Romanek? Mark Romanek. Mark Romanek. There are different ways to pronounce it, and they're all right, uh, I hope. Turns out it is Romanek. Editor's note, delete the last few minutes. Anyway, originally hailing from Chicago, Illinois, music video director and filmmaker Mark Romanek studied at Roy H. Park School of Communications, Ithaca College, New York, graduating from the latter with a degree in cinema and photography. Having studied both of these things, Romanek wanted to direct feature films and emulate his heroes, the likes of Stanley Kubrick and Orson Welles, although this ambition wasn't realized so immediately. What enabled him to direct films at various points in his career was where Working on music videos, essentially as his artist sketch pad and portfolio of work, laying down different creative ideas, presenting them on the world stage, as a showcase of talent and passion to lead to more ambitious projects, in a way. I say in a way, as whatever Romanic has done, he's done it epically. When I grew up, there weren't really music videos the way there are now, so I didn't grow up admiring music video directors. So this was, is, a chance to have a unique take on the direction of a three to five minute or more music video, the creative input you have that you can put to use. Maybe if I just do this, focus on it, I'll be able to grow as a human being, do all these different aesthetics, science fiction look, hand crank look, period thing. I just really embraced it, tried to get really good at it. Whether an artist set out to be a visionary or an auteur director like those he admires, he is heralded as one by a great many. They are very, very beautifully made pieces. Somebody who knows how to shoot in an understands light and composition. He finds those singular images that really stand out and create a lasting impression. This is almost in spite of the subject matter almost. Also the parameters of what you're working in. As Romanic loves movies, but also pop music, or popular music anyway. They're pretty much the two most important things in my life, and I could have a job where I get to put those two things together. It's like the greatest thing ever. The genre of the artists he's worked with definitely varies, but as he himself says, the result of making a music video is usually for eye candy and bombast. They're not known for their subtleties usually, so to be able to affect and move people with his work, which he has done, brings this art form up from a low art, a cheap thrill or a product as it otherwise could be, to something much higher as he does have a good eye for talent and for what he makes. He's a perfectionist. He's a perfectionist. He's a perfectionist. We definitely agree on the fact that he is a very precise man. His music video career started in 1986 and continues to this day, with a total of 52 videos to date, and I just think, wow, are his videos great to watch. Also, the people he's collaborated with. The likes of Keith Richards, David Bowie, Nine Inch Nails, Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson, Sonic Youth, Fiona Apple, Joni Mitchell, Mick Jagger, Audio Slave, Johnny Cash, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Linkin Park, Jay-Z, Coldplay, U2. All these great bands and solo artists. I was researching him and wondering what he'd worked on more recently, and I saw that he had done Taylor Swift, the music video for Shake It Off. <laughs> Now I don't dislike Taylor Swift as a person, or a pop musician, or anything like that, but I don't especially like her either. I don't have a clear, strong opinion, her music isn't really my thing, so I don't listen for the most part. It's me, hi, I'm the problem, it's me. Well, you got me there. I am in that age demographic who was a teenager when Swift was super, super huge. And therefore, as a male, it meant it was cool and popular to hate on Taylor Swift. Which I didn't do, I just took no heed of her. And listened to everything but her, her and Justin Bieber. Anyway, the music video to Shake It Off, even though it's a far cry, musically, from some of the alt artists I really like whom Romanic has worked with, I do rate the Taylor Swift music video. It'll be fun to talk about as it's actually very well made, of course. I just don't care about that song. But you know, I really shouldn't be that surprised by this collab, as Romanic has worked with pop acts all through his career. For example, Madonna, Beyonce, Justin Timberlake, and 30 Seconds to Mars. I'm not saying those acts are less than or equal to Taylor Swift, or for the most part are better than her. Again, I mostly don't listen to those acts or that style very much, but for the sake of music consumption, record labels, and brand marketability, they're in the same genre. Also, the Shake It Off video has earned more than three and a half billion hits. Easily Romanic's most successful 
successful viral project. So indeed, I wouldn't be complaining if my work were enjoyed that many times. The payoff to the hard work he puts in. But going back to the art of Mark Romanek's music video direction, I think producer Rick Rubin summed it up best by saying, He consistently does great work, one after another. Whether you like the artist or not, the video will be fantastic. What's interesting is that Romanek directed the music video for the Johnny Cash version of Hurt, originally by Nine Inch Nails, which, concerning my own content, I cut together clips of Ghostbusters Afterlife to the song, which is as much a tribute to the movie as it is to the late Harold Ramis. Anyway, long story short, I reached out to Mark Romanek, among others involved in the song, and the video on social media, and to my shock and sheer delight, I heard back from Mr. Romanek. This isn't me blowing my own horn or anything, but it's wonderful when what inspires you. The creator knows this and how important their work continues to be to culture, and it's really why I feel inspired to talk about how important Romanek and his work is. So going back to the matter at hand, I'll say quickly that to date, Mark Romanek has directed some episodes of television, and TV commercials as well in fact, but the three movies he's directed are Static from 1985 with Bob Gunton, Keith Gordon and Amanda Plummer, 2002's One Hour Photo, with the late great Robin Williams, and Never Let Me Go from 2010, with Andrew Garfield, Kira Knightley, Sally Hawkins, and Donal Gleason. Talk about star-studded casts, Mr. Romanek. People look at him as this auteur type, but he really doesn't know that much about cameras. That's the irony of it. He doesn't touch the camera. He won't touch the camera ever. Hmm. It would be interesting to talk about Romanek's movies on my channel someday, but in the build-up to doing so, I would really love to talk about his music videos as well first. I'm working on artist perspective reviews on my channel, so far for TV shows, which to me means I look at the storyline, but also artistic influences, references and ideas from other movies and television, but also just anything else I feel is relevant for my review, a formula I've started to hone, in some movie trailer reviews I've made on here actually. Applying this idea to music videos means tailoring my review video to fit that idea to make it work. Also opening the door to a more surreal, abstract form of storytelling and creative expression. As music videos do contain arcs and, albeit micro, storylines for our protagonists, but they are also driven by principles of the moving image, varying degrees of frenetic energy and a sense of wonderment. How compositions work, how things build on other things. Placement of people builds on placement thing that came before. Talking about Romanic's videos, outside of the artistic merit they hold in my eyes, for my own content, it's also a way of making content more quickly. Because I love to make videos, I love art, I love movies, etc. It's just a matter of joining those things up and expressing myself succinctly. I could make reviews of music videos, say 30 minutes or less, TV shows, which I propose being two hours or less given the amount of plot to break down, and a movie review being no longer than an hour, to factor in plot analysis, creative appropriation, etc. Romanic has 52 music videos ripe for discussion. Ooh, that could mean one video for every week of a full calendar year, which I'm not even going to attempt to do, as these things always take time, no matter how short the video. But I'm always letting my reach exceed my grasp. Nothing else for it. A lot has to do with meticulous preparation. A lot of people don't go to the extent that he does to prepare for a job. Filming Making is thinking things out in advance so that the process can allow accidents to happen, things that you wouldn't have thought of. It would be great to parallel my own creative journey as a YouTuber like this. I want to talk about films, but in my process of getting there, talk about other things I'm passionate about, before rebranding my channel to talk about film from my viewpoint as an artist, alongside my own practice, which I've mostly put on hold to pursue YouTube more actively. But God willing, I will be able to find a good balance between the two in the future and act on that ambition. Much like how Romanic built his way up to doing what he always wanted to do, from the early stages in his career and vary his output. Well, folks, can't wait to start this new series, side project, whatever this thing is going to be, in tandem with my other work on this channel. Stay tuned for more upcoming content, and feel free to like, share, and subscribe, hitting that notification bell for when my videos go live. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you around soon.